Hi everybody, so this is the uh, second of the videos that I promised about live photo. Um, I know I previously said in the first video that it should be turned off if you want to consider yourself a proper photographer, but there are times actually when you can use it to your advantage. So I go into my camera and make sure, you can see at the moment that uh, in the top right hand corner, those three circles have a diagonal line through them, that means that live photos is turned off. If I turn it back on, and if I take a photograph, and let's try and zoom in, and I'm going to try and hold my camera steady. Okay, so now if I go to my photograph, you can see that I have a live image. In the top left hand corner, you'll notice where it says live, and there's a little uh, downward facing arrow. If I click on that, I have some um, options in there, and this is where I can use it to my advantage. So I can click loop, which basically means it will play all of those 10 frames through so you get a almost like a, 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 a never-ending video if i select bounce it will play them forward and then backwards uh, a little bit like uh, a gif and the really cool one is if i click long exposure and you can see here what it does is it combines all 10 or 11 images into one frame and that actually gives you a sense of movement in the water um, so essentially, if you wanted to use that, then you would now go come out of that. And you can see that I've now got a finished image with the movement in it. So, in summary, if you want to use live photos and make sure you are using it um, creatively and you're not just using it to see what it gives you automatically.